So here is another question that we need to write as a single fraction. Let us express this entire question as a single fraction. And the first step is simply get the LCM of this denominator. And the LCM of the denominator will, quite, will be very easy. And the first part I have to write it down and that will be A squared BC. And this one will be A B squared C. And this other one will be A B C squared. So let's get the LCM of this entire expression. I can see that you can simply divide across by A. And when you write A outside there, A will simply divide A squared BC how many times? A, B, C. And this one will be now, this A and this A will cancel. So we'll have B squared C. Then again, the same here will be B, C squared. From here, again, I can divide across here by A. So I'll have B, C. But this one, A will not divide any of this. So we'll simply rewrite this here. So we'll have B, C. And here we'll simply have B, C squared. Remember, this is B squared, C. Again, from this point, I can see that B, C is across. It's same across. So I can just write B, C. Or let me just use B. So B can divide here how many times? C times. B can divide here. B, C times. B can divide B, C squared how many times? C squared times. Then again, I need to eliminate this B by dividing across by B. So I'll have C here. And this C will, I will just write it here as C. Then here the same C squared. From here again, I can simply divide across by C, such that here I'll have 1, 1, and finally here I'll remain with C. Then when I divide across by C, and that C will divide that 1 times. Now in order to get the entire LCM, we'll simply need to multiply this. A times A, so that is A times A, then we are supposed to multiply again b times b, b times b, then finally this other one, c times c. So a times a is the same as a squared, b times b is the same as b squared, and finally c times c is also the same as c squared. And that is how we simply get the LCM of this fraction. So we'll need to write that LCM down here. So the LCM is A squared, B squared, and C squared. From here, we simply need to divide the LCM by the first denominator. And I want you to look at how I'm going to do the simple division. The LCM was A squared, B squared, and C squared. When we divide that by the first denominator, and that will be A squared times B times C. Remember, A squared and A squared are the same, both in the numerator and denominator, therefore they'll cancel. Now, this B can divide one B here, such that I'll remain with B alone here. B squared is just the same as B times B. So one B has taken away that. So the same thing will happen with this C, and C can cancel with one C here, so I'll have one C there. Now in short, I'll have that solution as B, C. So this is what I multiply with the numerator. So that will be one times B, C. The same procedure I repeat with all these other denominators. And to avoid writing so much, I'll just repeat the LCM will be A squared times B squared times C squared all over. The denominator here is A, B squared, and C. So A will cancel with one A here, so it remain with one A there. B squared and B squared will cancel. 
Then the same C will cancel with one C on the numerator, so we'll have one remaining C. Now A times C will simply be A C. So it's supposed to be added to A C. Now A C you multiply with the numerator here. So that will be A C multiplied by the numerator, which is A plus B squared. From there, we are simply adding again. This denominator will simply replace it here. A squared, B squared, C squared, all over the denominator, which is A, B, C squared. Now, C squared and C squared are the same. And remember, A will cancel with one A, so you'll have A there. B will cancel with one B. So we'll have one remaining B there. So in short, we'll have A times B, which will be A, B. Now this A, B is simply the solution when you divide this, when you divide the LCM by this denominator. So A, B will multiply that. So A, B times 1. Now let's work out the numerator separately. So the numerator will simply be 1 times BC, and that will be 1 BC added to. Now, AC times A will simply be A squared times C. This A and A will multiply each other, and that will be A squared. Then AC times B squared will simply be ACB square. Then finally, you are supposed to add AB times 1, and that will be AB. So this will be the expression for the numerator. So once we have already solved the numerator, we'll simply combine it with the denominator. And the whole answer will be BC, which is the numerator, BC plus A squared C, plus AC, B squared, plus AB. Remember, all of this, you're supposed to express it as the numerator, and the denominator will be A squared, B squared, and C squared. If you take keen note of the numerator, there are no like terms. That is why we cannot simplify it. We were expressing this entire fraction to form one single algebraic fraction. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd wish to see you again next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Bye.